everybody, it's Brad Wardessa from LittleGulele.com and I'm going to show you how to play Little Rock Getaway by the Ukulele Boys and Brian Tolentino, Otisan, and many other artists. So, my version is based off of the Ukulele Boys version, probably most. You can find that on the Legends of Saki Guitar, I believe is what the album's called. It's the, the pink one that won a Grammy with Daniel Ho. Anyways, cool version on there. I've also got some ideas from Dominator's version, so this is kind of an amalgamation of all those different ones. So, it sounds sort of like this. So that's kind of the verse. So, the intro I'm just playing C6, C diminished, and then D minor 7 or F6 into G7. There's a lesson on my site about that in the lessons page called Jazzy Intros and Outros. Learned that from Kimo Hussey. So other ideas in there too. So you can put those same the same idea applies throughout the whole intro and outro. So you could use any kind of chord for this. So lots of different variations there. Anyways, the main part, you're gonna start with your first finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And then add your second and third fingers on the seventh fret of the C and bottom string, A string. And then you're gonna pick the bottom string, and then from C to A, you're gonna roll down. So A, C, E, A. And then you're gonna move down to an E7 shape with your middle finger barring the bottom three strings on the fourth fret, and then your third finger on the fifth fret of the bottom string. Same idea, same roll down thing. We're going to be doing this for most of the rest of the first part. And then you go to a C triad, which would be first finger on the two bottom strings, third fret, and then your middle finger on the fourth fret of the C string. And then you go to C7, just on the bottom three strings. And then just an F triad shape, bottom three strings still. And then you're gonna pick the bottom string again. So, and then, so at that, that you're doing the same thing, except it's just kind of a different rhythm. And this next one here is an A7. So that's gonna be first fret on the C string with your first finger, third fret on the E string with your third finger, and then the bottom strings open. Okay, so from the F, Okay, so. And then you play D minor, and then C diminished. So D minor is 2, 2, 1, 0, and C diminished is 2, 3, 2, 3. Okay, and then the next part is kind of the turnaround. Okay, so that is. I slide into the 4th fret, so you're going to pick the 3rd fret on the C string and then pick and slide it up to the 4th fret and then you're going to roll down that same C triad on the 3rd fret of the two bottom strings and then pick the E string and the A string again and then back to the E string So the next bit is going to be on the E string, you're going to do a pull off from the 2nd fret to the 1st fret. And that's going to go back to the 3rd fret. So 2, 1, 3, lots of in between notes in this song. And then you go bar across the bottom 2 strings holding that G that you just picked and you're going to hit the bottom the C note on the 3rd fret of the bottom string. And then you go up to the 5th fret on the bottom string and then to the 7th fret and pick that twice, the 7th fret. Actually I slide it, so 5, 7, slide and then pick, pick the 7th fret again. And then back to the 5th fret and the 3rd fret. And then I play a C7 and then an F and then a G7. 
seven, and that sends you back into the verse again. So that's that's your turnaround. The second time around, well, you can play that as many times as you like. This is kind of it's kind of a short song. There's not a lot, a lot of pieces to it, but you can kind of go around and mess around with it and change it up and make it interesting. But anyways, when you decide to go to the next part, instead of going from C to C7, you're gonna go C, G7, C. Okay, so and then you're going to hold an F with an added C note on top with your third finger. Okay, and you're going to strum down that, and then lift up your third finger. So it's strum, open bottom string, first fret E string, open C string, first fret bottom uh, E string, open bottom string again. And then this next part, I'm sorry to say, you're going to need a low G for it because you go... Oh wait, maybe you don't need the low G for this. Okay, you don't need a low G, but a low G is going to make it easier. So, what we've got here is an E minor, so you've got an, or an F minor, sorry. So F, F minor. Okay, so that's just an E minor shape, but you're moving it up. So it's going to be 5, 5, so same thing, strum down that, but instead of this time you're going to pick 2nd string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Or if you have a high G, you're going to have to do a workaround and use the open C string. So that would be strum, and then 4th string, 3rd string, open C string for your lowest note, and then back to the 5th fret, C string, and then back up to the 4th fret on the E string. So, or if you got a high G, and then the next part's kind of funny, I'm not sure exactly what they do, but this is what I've been playing. So it's totally chromatic, it's just kind of a tremolo thing, so you're going to go... So just it just threes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Except the last two are gonna be just pops. You're not playing triplets on those. Okay, so second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, and then I jump up to the D, which would be your turnaround chord, which would be G7, because there's a D in the G7. So on the tenth fret would be the D. And then you go right back into it. <laughs> <laughs> 